Hey guys, today I have for you the TMI Tag Booktube Edition, so I'll start right off with the question. The first question is, what fictional character has the best style? In this one, I don't actually know, but I'm just going to go with um, characters that I would like the way they would have dressed in the books, and that is anyone from a historical novel based in the... Tudor, Victorian, Renaissance areas. Um, I just love myself a nice, fancy dress. And um, some examples of books with um, covers where the characters are dressed well would be Just um, of the Sun. You can see there, she's got a nice dress on. And also, Queen of Elizabeth's Daughter, yet again, another fancy, fancy dress. So yeah, no specific characters, but I do love a fancy dress. <laughs> the next question is, who is your book, Boyfriend or Crush? And mine would be Jace from The Mortal Instruments. I just think he is so funny and I find that really attractive. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Question three. Have you ever loved a character and then started hating them? Um, I thought about this question for a bit and I'm sure I have, but no one is coming to mind. So yeah, I don't really know. Question four. What is the longest book that I have? And that would be A Feast for Crows. Of course, you know, all the um, Game of Thrones books are really long, and this one clocks in at 976 pages, so yeah, quite a bit. And there are probably more, like, books that are longer from the series, but this is the longest one that I own. Okay. Next question. The heaviest book. And the heaviest book is actually um, Blood and Beauty. This book, as you can tell, is pretty big and it's hard to remember, so I have a heft to it, even though it's not the longest book. Okay. Question six, do you have any book posters? And I have plenty of posters, but none of them are book related. So the answer would be no. Do you have any book related jewelry? Um, I don't. It'd be really cool if I did, but I don't. Okay, question eight. What is my OTP? Uh, my OTP is Marco and Celia from the night circus. I just think they're so cute together and I was rooting for them from the beginning of the book um, to be together despite, you know, the circumstances that they were in. So yes, I just love, love, love them together. Um, the next question is, what is my favorite book series? And I was trying to think, and I'm probably going to have to go with the Mortal Instruments. Um, I did like them a lot when I read them, but I don't know. Yeah, they're probably my favorite. Nothing else comes to mind anyway. Okay, number 10. My favorite book to movie soundtrack. And I actually have two for this. The first one would be the, <laughs> the Phantom of the Opera, obviously. Love Phantom of the Opera. And that technically counts, I guess, since the musical is based off the book. And the next one is um, soundtrack for The Great Gatsby. Didn't love the book so much, but I absolutely love the movie and the soundtrack. <laughs> okay. Question 11. What is a book I wish would continue? And that would be, once again, you know, already talked about before, but The Night Circus, I love this book. I was so obsessed with it, and I just wanted more and more and more. Um, 
the characters in the world. Okay, number 12. What is my favorite standalone? <laughs> I'm being repetitive now, but that is the Night Circus again. Um, number 13. Okay, this, um, where I got my questions from for the tag, some of the questions didn't really make sense. And this is one of them, so I'll just, I guess, interpret it. The question says, since when do you read books? Okay, I don't know what that means, but I'm going to assume that it means, um, when do you read books, like, what time during the day, because since when have you read books, like, I've read books all my life, and most people have, too. So, I'm going to say, what time of the day do you usually read books? And that is any time, really. I just read all the time when I can. Okay. Question 14 is, what Hogwarts house are you in? And I know this will probably not be well received, but I haven't really been interested in Hogwarts and Harry Potter since I was in elementary school and read the books. So, yeah. I'm going to say none, even though I know a lot of other people do like Harry Potter. I just haven't been into it since I read them. Okay. Question 15. What is the quality you look for in a book? And that has to be a book that doesn't have cliches in it. Like, I absolutely hate the cliche, um, like, high school scene or the cliche... Um, guy, for instance, I hate that. I like unusual, different characters, so cliche is, like, a huge pet peeve for me. Question 16. What is my favorite book quote? And this is actually a quote that was originally from a movie, which got turned into a book, which I have been reading, and that is Crimson Peak. I love that movie, so when I think found out that it was someone had written a book um, to go along with it. I ordered it from Amazon, and yes, it I love it. But <laughs> anyways, getting off track with my love, the quote is, This love is a monstrous love, and it makes monsters of us all. And I just thought that was so cool when I um, heard it in the movie, and it's also in the book, which is super cool, making it my favorite book quote. <laughs> what, is question, what is question 17? Uh, I know that, obviously. God. Question 17. Who was my favorite author? In this one, I honestly don't have one. And I'm, that's probably the way it is with a lot of people who read lots of books because, you know, it's like just having one favorite book. I can't pick just one favorite author. Every book that I like, it, the author that wrote it is my favorite author. So, yeah. Okay, number 19. Action or romance? I don't read straight action, and I don't read straight romance. I like books that have a little bit of action, a little bit of romance, but I don't like just one or the other. Okay, this is another... Um, kind of confusing question. Where do you go when a sad moment happens? I don't know, is it just me, but I don't go anywhere? Like, I read the sad moment, maybe I cry a tear or two, but I don't go anywhere. <laughs> I don't know if it means if you're in public, do you go somewhere to cry? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Question 21. How long do you take to finish a book? And that depends entirely on the book you know, the length and how much I like it. If it's a book that I don't like, I tend to drag it out because I don't want to read it. <laughs> but if it's a book that I do like, although no matter the length, if it's a book I do like, I usually have it finished pretty quickly. Um, question 22. How long is your morning period? <laughs> this is just what the question said. Not like book morning period. How long is your morning period? <laughs> but I'm going to assume it means like uh, morning period, like, between, like, a sad ending of a book or whatnot. And mine, um, I don't have a morning period. Something sad happens in a book, or I miss a book because it's over, or, you know, whatever. I just go right to the next book because I want the happiness. 
I want the joy of reading a book. I don't want to be sad about, you know, finishing a book that I liked reading. I just want to get on to something new and keep feeling happy. Okay, question 23. What is my least favorite book? And this is Little Women. I'm sorry, I absolutely hate Little Women. I just can't stand it. I can't. I'll never be able to stand it. I'll never get over it. I don't like Little Women. Question 24. Um, what is your turn on in a character? And like I said before about Jace, I love when a character is funny. Humor is a big turn on for me. And question 25, what is your turn off in a character? And that would be cockiness. I um, hate that. It's like kind of like the cliche guy kind of thing in the high school thing. He's all cocky and I'm like, mm, no, I like guys who are more insecure. I, not like I don't want insecure guys, but like not, you know, completely thinking they deserve the world and everything and they're the best, you know. I'm sure it's like that for a lot of people. But yeah, that is a major turn off for me in real life and in books. So that was the TMA tag. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you on the next video. Bye!